Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I would like to give you a demonstration of the Cake plugin. Cake is designed to create perspective renderings on unwrapped UV texture. So let's have a look at my scene here. I have a, I've created a stage here with a main floor and a moderator, and also a corner. So and if I now go to my camera and hide the moderator. I play back my animation. I have something like this. The floor is opening up, some devices are flying out. Maybe they are about to uh, to show some new features. And in the end, they just drop down into the box again. So let's say you want to create a perspective rendering of this uh, scene here. Then Cake might be a great helper for you. So in order to make cake work, all you have to do is go to your render settings, apply cake from the effects panel, like this, and let's add my um, scene camera here, and you can toggle down the settings here. And then you need a polygon object. And in this situation here, you need a replica of this scene here, of this stage. And the replica is looking like this. I can show you. It's just that corner here. To apply it to cake, you don't have to see it. Let, let just drag it into that slot here. And I will give it a render and then I will talk about the border settings here in a minute. So let's go to the uh, picture viewer and render to the picture viewer. So this is the uh, texture you're going to create. It, it's looking a bit distorted, but it will become logic once it's applied to the scene. So let's save that as a TIFF to our desktop for this, uh, for this tutorial. Let's say yes, I've already made a render. Give it a number, yep. So let's create a new material. Open it up and load the new texture to the luminance channel. Then apply it to our replica. Uh, turn off the original stage, switch on the uh, the cake geometry and give it the render in the editor. Oh, sorry. Ah, I have to turn off the cake here and now I'll give it a render. So, and as you can see, the uh, scene is correctly mapped onto my geometry. But in a situation like this, you may find some gaps in your uh, in your render, and to get around it, you can use the border settings. So the border setting will extend the content measured in percentage. So what does it mean? So let's uh, activate Cake, leave everything as it is, and let's. Give the border a setting of uh, point zero point one. Drag it out of the way. Activate my scene again. Deactivate the cake geometry. Delete the um, material. Just give it a new render. So and you can see the difference. Um, here we have our black gap, and there is the extension of our content. So let's save that again. Let's say this is number two. Save it, close that down, create a new material. Uh, 
load it to the luminance channel. Nope. Apply it to your cake geometry. Make it visible and give it a render. Ah. Same failure again. Deactivate cake. Ah. As you can see, our black gap is gone. So cake is supporting the standard and the physical renderer. External render engines like V-Ray or Octane are not supported yet. And uh, you can't use post image effects like hair, for example. But as you can see, you can use uh, reflections and shadows, and so you can create a very interesting perspective rendering. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.